good morning. It is almost 7 a.m. and I am 15 minutes away from my Access Lake. I'm up in the Algoma area in northern Ontario um, to, to do a trip that I was supposed to do a couple weeks ago, but I had to bail or I had to cancel because my Access Lake was still iced in. So um, it's, it's Friday morning, it's almost 7, um, I should be at my Access Lake by 7 a.m. on the water, hopefully short after. I'm excited for this. This is, a, this is a trip that I've been wanting to do for a few years now. Um, it's, it's a chain of lakes that's connected by 15 or 16 ports, so um, it, it, should be, it should be good. The lakes are said to have brook trout and lake trout in them, uh, two species in which I have never caught a uh, lake trout, and uh, I am the worst brook trout fisherman, so yeah, exciting. I'm excited for this trip. Fortunately, it's pretty chilly and it's raining. It's, it's predicted to rain all day, so that's a drag. But other than that, I'm really excited to be up here. I'll be up here through Sunday, so I'll be up here for three days. But I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so this is port number one. Uh, I'm gonna have to take a minute, try and get my kit all figured out, uh, get a good system going, and then I will be heading up that way. Up the hill, down the hill, and then to, into lake number two, which is White Lake. All right, let's see what 700 meters is all about. trail keeps climbing. It's up, down, up, down, up, down. So the trail kind of walks along this, these cliffs, these kind of rock faces that go all the way up. And kind of in this little valley, there's all these birch trees and stuff in here. This is very cool. On the other side, just a little pond, a little swampy area. Some ducks back there. That is very cool. That's always a welcome sign. That way you know you're on the right track. All right, 700 meters wasn't too bad. You just got a nice walk back to the boat and then not too bad of a carry. So it's a beautiful, beautiful spot. It's quiet. So there was, so there was one other car I had to put in and I've been following someone's. Some sandhill cranes calling in the distance. Almost sounded like a dog. Anyway, there was one other car at the put in so I know someone else is out here because I've been following their 
footprints, but I'm kind of guessing that maybe they started yesterday on Thursday. Uh, so, I don't know. There are those sand hills. It would be interesting if I, if I see them or not. This first port was pretty nice because it is along a, what looks to be an ATV trail. So um, that's nice because it, it can kind of get confusing around here. Hi. I gotta turn this thing around. Oh, nope. Oh, I don't know. Nose is stuck. I am free. Okay, so this is the second load on the first port, which is 700 meters. I'm gonna time myself um, so that I can better plan the rest of the trip. This is, this feels heavy. I brought a lot of crap with me. She is feeling heavy. Check in with you later. I just had to take a quick break. I just got up that, that really big ridge and my boat was hanging and it hit something and jarred my shoulders, so I just needed a second to reset also. It was a lot colder this morning than it was right now, so I feel like I'm wearing too many layers for this with my rain gear. So when I get done, I'm going to have to shed some layers. I'm just going to try not to sweat too much. That would not be good. About halfway done though. And that was the that was the tough part with the climb. Now I have the valley with the swamp, and then just kind of up and down into the lake. White Lake, here we come. Okay, so I'm at the second uh, official port. Um, this one is only 50 meters, the first one was 700. There's a little lift over that I had to do to get into this second part of White Lake. Um, and there's a little waterfall separating White Lake from Pine Lake. So the port kind of goes along this trail, which is really pretty. And then you get to this little waterfall, uh, which makes for kind of a tricky put in because you're putting in kind of right at the top of the chute. But it's still really, really cool. Let's check it out.
Okay, so the put-in to Pine Lake is kind of sketch. I'll show you. You got to put in here. Uh, so I guess I'm going to set the camera up in case anything interesting happens. Like my boat gets sucked down the chute or something like that. Still have a boat. Oh man, it is 10.30 and the sun is coming out. It was supposed to rain all day. Right now we're kind of getting a break and it looks like the sun's trying to peek out. So I will take it, that's exciting. Uh, right now I'm just gonna paddle across Pine Lake, get to my third port, um, which will be a 300 meter port into Long Lake. Oh, all super slippery rocks. This is not a great landing. Hmm. Okay, 300 meters from pine to long. Here we go. First sign of a moose that I've seen. Big pile of moose poop. All right, it's noon and I just got into Long Lake. There's kind of this little bay back here that I just paddled and checked out, um, but now I'm gonna paddle into the main lake and I'm gonna troll around and see if I'm able to catch anything. This lake supposedly has lake trout and brook trout in it, so um, we're gonna troll around some of the deep drop-offs and some of like the bigger basins and see if we can't get anything. And also, I need to eat lunch. I haven't eaten anything um since really last night for dinner so i had an apple in the car but that was about it so i'm getting pretty tired after doing those ports and paddling around so i think i'm gonna find a good spot to stop and eat kind of make some adjustment to the pack and all my gear and then uh, paddle around and fish so 
gonna try to find a spot. All right, <clears throat> before I do anything else, I'm gonna eat. I've been saying that for an hour now. It's almost one, it's 10 to one. So I'm gonna do a little bit of water and look into, uh, look into what snacks I have, lunches, lunch food, and also take a look at the map and figure out where I'm going and what I'm doing next. Um, I kind of paddled through this long lake a little bit quicker than I thought. Uh, and so right on the other end of this little carryover is a 750 meter port. So that would be the longest one of the day. Um, followed by a short paddle and then a 600 meter port. So I need to fuel up if I'm gonna do anything like that. Like I said, I woke up at one o'clock so that I could get here around six. Um, yeah, driving was good. The paddle so far today has been good. I've kind of fished a little bit. I've just kind of casted out a few things. pepper jerky so the paddles have been good fishing has been slow bugs have been on and off black flies are out I don't think they're biting mosquitoes I've seen them I also don't think they're biting yet it's supposed to warm up tomorrow almost 20 degrees and so I think tomorrow the bugs are going to be bad. Tomorrow and tomorrow night. So I'm going to enjoy this cooler weather, this bug free weather. And uh, take what tomorrow gives me. Quick update, quick report. We started up here. We started in North Lake. I parked my car somewhere up here paddled roughly the mile down North Lake, and then I did this 700 meter port, um, which was kind of a butt kicker for me. Paddled into White Lake. Did the short paddle across White Lake, carried up and around the, the falls into Pine Lake, paddled around Pine Lake, which was really pretty, and got out and did the 500 meter port for from Pine to Long. Long Lake put in was very mucky, boggy, swampy, gross, tough. Uh, so once we pushed in through there, we got into the open lake. I've just kind of been paddling across and just trolling as I go. I casted a few other places, um, but I haven't seriously, seriously fished. Just kind of paddled down here, and now um, this red kind of spot is a is a beaver dam so it's just a lift over I'm sitting here I'm gonna do lunch and I'm gonna paddle across this little part of Long Lake and then do this 750 meter port into Bell Lake um, and then my plan would be to go from Bell to Jay Lake um, and hopefully from Jay into West Lake and camp here, or go from West Lake to um, Christmas Lake. So I'm right here. I've got a ways to go. I'm about halfway done. I at least have to get here. So I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna fuel up and uh, get getting. 
Okay, so I was just kind of walking around here, having my lunch, drinking some water. I walked back up in these woods and started looking around. And it looks like, it looks like there was some kind of forest fire um, here. A lot of the, a lot of the stumps and roots of these trees are burnt. Um, they have like burn scars on them. So either someone accidentally started a fire or maybe there was a lightning strike or something like that. Um, but it kind of gives it a, an eerie look and feel a little bit. So, yeah. Okay, 750 meter port. Here we go into Bell Lake. There it is. Bell Lake. Wow, it's pretty. So I just finished the port from Long Lake into Bell Lake with all the gear, and that was tough. That's been the toughest one so far. 750, I kind of almost like triple carried or carried and double carried in a half because I just brought all my bags the first time because I wanted to scout it. I ended up going the whole way. <sighs> brought the boat with like the paddle and the fishing rods and the net and all that other stuff the second time. Except for they kept falling, and so I would have to kind of relay those items. But anyway, we're done. Feels good. We got a quick paddle to that far corner, and then another 600 meter port. So time to put our big boy pants on. There's a mom moose and her baby right over there. She's been calling to her baby. And I could hear them down here, so I went to go see what it was. They're just right around that corner. I don't hear them anymore, but I've been in my boat for an hour because she was crashing back and forth through the brush. This is the portage trail. And for whatever reason, they're not leaving. Okay, I haven't heard anything in a while. And so I think I'm gonna pack up and I'm gonna go up the hill and down the hill to the next lake. I'm gonna keep my head on a swivel, keep my ears out. I haven't heard anything. I'm super cold though, because I was stuck in the boat. So I'm gonna get moving, I'm gonna put my fleece on. Yeah, I, I don't know exactly what to do. I might paddle out there one more time because I could see her. So I just want to make sure that they're not still in the woods. Hey. Hey. The moose are back. I just ran down to get the boat. I took all my gear up, got it to this logging road. I ended up finding the next lake from the logging road. I just heard her up there. So I'm gonna quickly throw all this stuff on my back. It was gonna be two trips, but 
It's gonna be one trip now. All right, last little bit, last little load, and then I'm to Jay Lake. But right now, the trail is following this ATV path, and uh, it's pretty soupy. Luckily, I'm on the ridge of it right now, but I just ran the canoe down there and I had to walk through all the muck. It's 5.30. I'm on Jay Lake. I got to paddle to the end of Jay Lake. I got a 300 and a 500 to get to West Lake. West Lake is where I'm calling it quits for the night. Okay, made it to Jay Lake. Jay Lake is pretty featureless compared to the other lakes. There's no rock from what I can see. It's kind of all low-lying, marshy, um, and it's a super easy put-in. So I'm loading up and I'm booking it down there to do the 300 and the 500 meter port. Catch up with you. Big scrapes. Just getting to the takeout on Jay Lake. Push through that. From a timing perspective, it's 602. I wanted to get here at 6. <clears throat> So pretty close to being caught back up on time. I wasn't able to fish at all, but we'll fish tomorrow. We'll fish tomorrow. Hi. All right. This is the port leaving Jay Lake. The 300 port into just like a little no name pond. And then it's a quick paddle. And then after that paddle, then it's a 500 meter port. So, yeah. It's 20 after 6. It's overcast. Wind is starting to kick up a little bit. My body has. No energy. I didn't do a very good job fueling, staying fueled. So, yeah. sorry about the the light details on the moose encounter. I'm filling in tonight. I'm eating dinner, but it was super cool and exciting, and then really concerning because they didn't move, they just stayed there. So, uh, I hope this is the second to last one. One more after this. Fingers crossed. but it's at the end of the day 
when the day's done, I will have done a lot. My shoulders just need a break. I'm gonna go back and grab my backpack. Good morning. It is 5.40. We're just looking at the weather forecast on the Garmin inReach for today. Looks like it's supposed to continue to rain potentially the next couple hours, then taper off, warm up, and then it looks like a warm front's supposed to come through with uh Warm front is supposed to come through, but it's supposed to bring a lot of wind up to 25 mile an hour gusts. So, yeah, that should be interesting. Sorry, I didn't, uh, didn't film much last night. Ended up being a really tough night where I could not find a campsite. Um, that's cool. And, uh, where I ended up making camp is actually just on an ATV trail. So that's where I was able to find two trees to be able to hang between. So made dinner last night. I wasn't really hungry, surprisingly. So going to uh, get the food bag, start making some breakfast. Everything's soaked. I was hoping that it'd be dry this morning. And, uh, Start figuring out what I'm going to do today. Get back with you. Long, cold walk. Let's get my food bag. Which I hung up. Down this ATV path. A little ways. Nothing got it, it's still there. Which is good news. Seem to pop it free. Alright, I was home last night. It started raining, so I had to quickly set up the tarp, the hammock, get the quilts on. I tuck everything underneath here the best I can. Like I said, I was hoping that it wouldn't rain, that a lot of this stuff would be dry. But things just appear to be more wet and not dry. So I'm gonna keep my pants I'm sleeping in dry, so I'm gonna put on my cold, wet other pants. Um, These my pants for the day, and uh, try to start try to start drying those bad boys out. It's 
been a nice morning so far. A lot of songs like that, which has been nice. So, some 20 ounces of water for coffee. We'll get that going. I'm kind of picking everything else up. Uh, so when I make coffee, I prefer to use a French press. And I just pre-package these portions for uh, coffee in the morning so that's what I'm gonna do use the French press use my portions make a brew a little update on what we did yesterday so this is kind of the route and so yesterday we put in at North Lake to the 700 meter portage from north into white the 50 from white to pine, the 500 from pine to long, we paddled down long. There was that lift over that turned into a port that wasn't really a lift over. Then from long, we did the 750 into bell. Then we paddled bell and we did the six into J. We paddled along J. We did the three into the pond five into Westlake which is where we're at right now the plan will be to go from Westlake all the way up here to this lake which I don't know the name of but that's the plan that will put me in a good position to get back home tomorrow but we'll see like I said that's the plan we'll see how far we get if we get that far, if we get further, who knows? I'm just going to kind of take it, take the day as it comes. <clears throat> quick pro tip for everyone at home if you like to have these struple waffles um, put them on top of your coffee and let the heat and steam from your coffee soften them up um, warm them up they're fantastic that way they're just great if you like struple waffles you haven't tried it you need to try it Okay, it is 8.25. I wanted to be on the water at 8, 25 minutes behind. Not bad, it took a little extra time getting my kit all figured out, kind of repacking some stuff. So hopefully that will help on the ports today, allow things to go a little bit more quickly, a little bit more smooth. Um, weather, weather's overcast. It's overcast and it's chilly and the wind is picking up. You can kind of see the clouds moving through the sky quickly. It's been kind of like spitting rain on and off, but 
optimistic about today. Um, optimistic about today. Yesterday ended pretty tough. So I'm hoping that today's just a better day overall. I'm trying to figure out if we're gonna fish on here. Maybe we'll fish. Maybe I'll troll around for a little bit and then we're gonna get into Christmas Lake. The two things I'm going to use today. One is kind of like a spin jig, like this. I'm going to use a flicker minnow while uh, while we're trolling around. It's kind of a when I paddled the entire lake yesterday looking for a campsite. It's kind of a nice little rocky area over there rocky outcrop and then nice big boulders underneath the water so I'm gonna go over there when we're trolling we're gonna use the flicker minnow when I'm casting and use the spin jig There's this cool little rapid area right here at the takeout. Uh, I'm gonna get up there and cast a couple times and see uh, if I can catch a brook trout. It kind of looks like a place where a brookie would hang out. So there's a beaver dam up there. I'm gonna kind of skirt my way along here, cast a few times, see if I can't catch anything. And then we will be heading down that way. But hopefully I can get into a fish. Stay tuned. No luck. A lot of roots, a lot of slippery roots. It rained last night, so there's all these roots. They're super slick. Roots and mud, blowdowns. Oh. Moose prints. It's like a well-used moose trail. Pretty easy to follow though. I always thought it was goofy to use a yoke pad. And now I want a yoke pad so bad. This trip, I don't know if it's because I've been stressed the last few weeks and my shoulders are super tight or if I'm just not used to carrying the boat, but not happy. Oh man. Super mad. 
more moose prints. Oh. Big hill. Going. Rocks are slippery. And still going up. Boy. I see the lake down there. Yes. Six minutes. It's not bad. This is Christmas Lake. It's kind of spidery, but it's beautiful. And look, there's the sun. The sun's peeking out. I know that was only my first port. It was 500 meters. I didn't do a big breakfast, and yesterday, I didn't do a good job staying fueled up, and I really hit a wall. I just felt like my energy levels were zero, and I was trying to push really hard. So I'm gonna eat half of this uh, energy bar after the next port, which I think is just a quick short one, but after the port, or after the paddle on the port, I'm going to finish this just to try to keep up on, on my energy levels so that I can continue to push because yesterday I did not do a good job drinking water either. So I'm going to finish this water, eat half this bar, taking this beautiful view and uh, push forward. All right, so we're into this little no-name lake, and this is this is one of the prettiest lakes. It's got tons of little rock islands on it. This is really where I wanted to get to last night. Um, I just ran out of time. By the time I would have gotten in here, it it would have just been too late. I had a little tiny bit of light left um, last night before it started to rain and so I was quickly trying to set stuff up. I had to eat dinner in the dark. Um, but this is beautiful back here. It is amazing. It's quiet, it's beautiful. This is my favorite lake uh, of the trip. The only thing that would make it better is if we could catch a fish. Keep trying.
keeps going way down there. All sorts of nooks and crannies in this lake. So I'm just checking on the Garmin inReach, looking at my weather report to see what we're in for today. Um, and it looks like wind is going to be in order and it's going to be just getting more and more windy uh, throughout the day. So at noon, it'll be 12 mile an hour sustained wind with 22 mile an hour gusts. At 2, it'll be 13 mile an hour winds with 23. And at 4, it will be uh, 14 mile an hour winds with 24 mile per hour gusts. So that's what we have to look forward to. I'm going to cut across this lake and keep on moving. That's a pretty big one.
This is easily one of the biggest beaver dams I've ever seen. It goes for, I don't know, 50, 60 yards. It's really big. It starts right here. And it goes all the way down there. Pretty big. Added a little excitement to the day. So we gotta keep going. I just came around the corner and there was a bald eagle sitting right on that rock by that little inflow. I couldn't get my camera in time, but he took off and then there looks like there's a clearing back there. Another one took off with him. Uh, I don't know if he was eating a fish or what he was doing, but I wanna go check it out and see. So I'm not entirely sure what he was doing, but you can see he was sitting right there. There's a feather right there. And then there's a bunch of poop in the water. So I'm gonna go check it out and see if I can see anything over there, any fish or anything like that. Okay, so this is right where he was sitting. He left a couple of feathers behind. I'm super bummed out that I didn't have my camera up and ready. The pork is right there. So I kind of just laid it down because I was getting ready to take all my stuff out. And uh, he literally looked at me, he kind of hopped a little bit. I thought he was going to stay, that didn't make any noise or move, but then he took off and kind of flew through this little opening. And then another one dropped down and flew out with him. So that's pretty cool. We had a moose sighting, bald eagle, lots of beaver. Saw a fox on the way in. I'd love to see an otter. That would be really cool. All right. Time to do this little quick 75 meter carry into the next lake. You can see a bunch of, you can see a bunch of poop right there. But then there's also kind of like this yellowy stuff, which I have no idea what that is. Hey, there's also this. I don't know what that is. That actually might look like otter poop, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's from the eagle, too. I don't know. Neat.
Look, some wild cranberries. There's a bunch of them. I don't know that for sure, for sure, so I'm not going to eat them, but I'm almost positive that's what they are. This trail is really, really hard to follow. Um, I just, I just dropped my big bag, carried the little bag and dropped it down there. My big bag's halfway, so I got to go back and get it, but it's pretty confusing. There are some of these blazes on the trees, but they're not really consistent. They're kind of scattered all over. Um, and then there are, there's a little bit of flagging tape, but again, it's old flagging tape and it's not consistent. It's kind of hard to follow. So uh, I got to make two more trips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flag along the way um, so that I know how to get back here. That may be the biggest burl I've ever seen on a tree, ever. The size of that thing. Massive.
Okay, so I just swapped out a GoPro battery and it came right out um, because earlier this morning, all the black flies all over the camera, earlier this morning I put in a knockoff GoPro battery that I got in uh, on Amazon and the little tab ripped out and so then I spent an hour trying to extract the battery from my GoPro. Um, anyway, um, so, oh that loon, so pretty. Anyway, uh, the black flies are really turning on, uh, and yesterday they weren't biting, uh, but today they are biting. So I decided, I think I have two more ports to do um, to get home, to get back to the car. And I think I'm going to do it, you know. Uh, I've kind of accomplished everything with this trip. It turned out to be more of like a beast mode trip than a relaxing one or one that I spent time focusing on fishing. Uh, the fishing hasn't been great and uh, I feel like I've done everything. So um, I'm going to get the black flies off the camera. We're going to get on the water and have the wind blow these things away. And I'm going to get ready for the final push back to the car. It's 10 to 5 right now. My goal is to get done before dark, um, which I definitely think I will be able to. I would like to get done by 7.30. Um, but we'll see. 7.38 is when I'm targeting. I've got a big port left, uh, 700 meter, but uh, I got a quick paddle across this lake, uh, then a 350. Uh, actually, I have three left. A 350, then a 50, then a 700. So, yeah, I got to get cracking. This isn't sketchy at all. Take out. I would have lost money that that was it. Are you okay? Did get dinged up a little bit. Let's try that again. a better system. We need a better system for that net. So this just gets, keeps getting crazier and crazier. So my takeout is right there, but it looks like a tree fell on it. So now I think I have to come down here along this massive beaver dam. And there's another one over there, but I can see my lake right down there. So I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I'll see if I can sneak up but I don't know. There's a couple cut logs down there, so it feels like that might be the way to go. Oh, 
think this is deep enough to paddle. This might be deep enough to paddle until I get down there. So that's what I'm gonna do. That was a disaster. I'm done. Jeez. And this walk getting back to my boat has been all uphill. It is like plateaus, drops, plateaus, drops, plateaus, drops. And maple, maple is all the way up there. So, this little bit, it's all downhill from when I get there. But man, oh man. I feel like sometimes the downhill is just as tough as the uphill. Tough on the knees, tough on the back. This is the last little bit though. And then I've accomplished this, this circle route. It's seven, it was seven when I was down at the lake uh, with all my gear. 707, it's taking me it was 10 minutes to get up here. And now, just go down, after I catch my breath, paddle back, I'll be on my way home. I'm excited. Really miss my wife and my kids. Really, really miss them. So, looking forward to seeing them. I won't see them tonight because I'll get back really late, but First thing in the morning, dad's making breakfast. Last pour, last portion of the last port, all downhill. That would take me seven minutes. I'm in the home stretch.
last port done. Five minutes, 45 seconds. Now it's time to see how quickly we can make this paddle back to the car. The GoPro won't do it justice, but I'm not digging the big camera out right now. I'm on the final stretch, so it's hammer time. All right, this north headwind on North Lake is gonna be really brutal. I'm kind of around a point and I'm already getting waves. I can see white caps over there in the main lake, but that's okay. Just kind of paddled through the little tail of the lake. As I come around this point, I'm gonna have to paddle like crazy. And I think there's another, I think there's a cove that should give me a little rest, but I'm gonna have to paddle hard for a while. See a fishing boat out on the lake. This Saturday after all. All right, I made it. Um, it's 7.45 um, and I think that I left at 7.45 um, yesterday morning. So it's been 36 hours and 36 hours. I paddled over 30 miles and did 16 or 17 ports. This has been a grind. It's been an amazing trip, uh, a lot of tests, a lot of challenges, um, but it was good. It was good. I'm looking forward to the drive home and seeing the wife and kids.